What is up people, you've got the Oracle there and we are back on MTGO for a new Shadows are in Strat draft. And we've just opened a Seeker there, which I think is just pretty great. I mean, picking a double card, card uh, first pick is not something you really want to do, but well, white green is probably the best color combination in the set. And yeah, that card is pretty, pretty strong. I mean, I haven't seen it on a limited battlefield yet, but I would assume that it's pretty solid. Uh, slightly annoying because I think the two next best cards are probably Grief Boon and Quilled Wolf. So yeah, picking you know white green card and passing two good white and green card is not the best, but it is what it is. I think it's just a fairly easy pick. Um, I could see people for I mean first picking something like a Lightning Axe of a Sigarda. I would st yeah, I, I still think it's probably wrong to do so, but. Um, some people really don't like, uh, you know, being in two color uh, just after the, after the first peak, which I can understand. Still think this is probably better than any uncommon or common. Um, all right, I think the best card for me here is Dauntless Qatar. I think overall it's just a better card than Silver Strike. Um, yeah, I'm pretty positive that it is just probably the best card of of the pack, and it goes well with Sigarda, so. Again, fairly easy pick, I think. Not too much to say about that. Uh, Silver Strike is quite good, but you can play around it. It's kind of clunky and kind of obvious when you are holding that. Uh, it's not good in aggressive deck. Uh, it's kind of good if you are racing, but other than that, uh, I mean, I think this card is actually pretty mediocre, but the fact that there's a lot of racing situation in this set makes it better than it should be. Uh, because only destroying attacking creatures uh, for 4 mana is like quite a lot. Alright, that pack is pretty good, but, but not really for us. I mean, the best cards are red, blue and black, I think. Uh, Kindred, Bloodseeker, both great in, you know, in their uh, respective archetype. Reduced to Ashes, f kind of mediocre removal, but fine. Then you have a few decent blue cards. Pius Evangel, I, I was pretty high on that early on the set, and the more I've played it, the more I was just an impressed. Like, the body is not really relevant, the ability is not great, uh, the flipping cost is quite real, uh, the issue is not really the permanent, but paying two, you cannot always afford to do that. I don't know, I think it's between that and Confront. I think both would be fine addition to the deck. I think I'll go with Evangel. It might be wrong, but um, yeah, honestly, I've been really unimpressed with that card, so... Uh, but whatever, I think it's still probably better than a first uh, Confront the Unknown. That's a fairly late playground. That card is fairly hard to beat. Uh, I guess I could play red-white splashing for green. Uh, the other option, I think, would be to take Vessel, which is just a very solid card in white green, uh, in pretty much any deck. But uh, I mean, it's, it's even better in actually green black Delirium, but it's quite solid in white green too. Uh, definitely better than the two white options, I think. Um, that's also fair. I mean, four speak third vision. I mean, you you have to build around that card, but it's pretty solid if you do so. But Playground is just a monocolored card that's very efficient, so... I don't know. I might just pick that, because if red is just open, uh, I'm willing to, to do that. Alright, then Swiss the Devil, I think it's a fine addition. Um, and I might just splash that Sigarda. Uh, hopefully I get some, you know, red-green or white-green lands at some point. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, Emissary of the Silly Plus is not the most exciting thing, but I think it's still better than Qatar's Companion. Uh, there are much better 3 drop in green or red or white, so I think I'd rather take the Emissary, which is fine, but not uh, amazing either. Um, well, that pack does not have much for us. I guess I could take the stream in case I were to end up in Bent. Not very likely because of the two devil cards, but I don't think I'm very likely to play the pig or any of that nonsense, so I guess it's gonna be a stream. That's a fairly late deterrence. I mean that card is pretty solid, so 
surprised to see that going uh, so late. I think I'm just gonna pick that. Um, all right, stone quarry is not bad fixing. Uh, rush is pretty solid, but I think I'd rather have the fixing at that point, especially since it's more and more likely that I end up with a three-color deck. Um, guess I'll pick press for answer. I mean, those blue cards were pretty free. I'm not. I'm not like. Uh, those are amazing cards and, and I want to go into blue. It's more than, well, there was pretty much nothing else and you never know where you could end up, so. Yeah, currently I'm not sure what I'm doing. Pretty sure that I'm white because it's the color in which I have mo the most card and it's also, you know, my better spell are in white. I mean, especially Sigarda, I guess. Uh, Playground is really solid, though. And much better than Dance with the Devil, which... You know, they can play around it by just uh, assigning uh, their damage if you block. Uh, they can just deal all damage to one devil, and it's not always easy to get a 2 for 1 out of that card, even though you can do it sometime. Alright, I think I'm gonna pick Amalgam. Don't really wanna play against that. Uh, it might, sometimes it's pretty annoying. Uh, yesterday, I played against a blue black deck that was playing Amalgam alongside. Um, what's the name of that card? Um, all right, that that could make the main deck if I'm playing green. Um, alongside, um, oh, I cannot remember. Um, I don't remember the name of the card, but basically the the blue enchantment that I mean the blue sorcery that mill you thirteen and comes back uh, for five. And with Amalgam, well, each time it comes back, there's the Amalgam that comes back, and it was pretty annoying uh, <laughs> to play against that. Alright, we have a bunch of options here. I think I'm gonna pick Lightning Axe. Uh, Recruiter might be better, but I think I have more red, good red card than green, uh, green card at this point. And Lightning Axe might just be better than Recruiter. Uh, that pack has a lot of things though, I mean, all the green cards are pretty great. Uh, then you have Lightning Axe, Cab, which is pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, there are some pretty bad cards too, but the the, the good cards are like really good. Um, but I think it is Lightning Axe. Ooh, I do like Mysteries a lot. Um, I mean, it's between Mysteries and Inspector. Inspector is slightly better because I'm more into white than green. But I could see myself playing white red splashing for Mysteries and Sigarda. Uh, Mystery is not the best combo with uh, Dance with the Devils and Devil Playground. And currently I'm not playing a very aggressive deck with a bunch of creatures. So maybe I should just take Inspector, which is extremely solid in pretty much any deck. Um, yeah, definitely between these two. I mean, Mysteries is more powerful, but I'm less into green. I think I'll go with Mysteries still. That card is just so nice. Well, I might be more into green now, I guess. Which is not really what I wanted to do, but whatever. Uh, so I could take rabbit, rabbit Bite just because it's easier to splash. But I think at this point I'm just gonna take the Pack Guardian and maybe go deeper into green and say whatever. I might end up also... Actually I could be green-red splashing for, for white. That could be also an option. Yeah, that's probably the better option. I just need to find enough playable now. And now the best card is Sleep Paralysis, which is pretty annoying. Don't really wanna pick that. I have a bunch of good cards, but this deck is not looking great. I kind of got into different direction, and there wasn't really a color that seemed, um, you know, extremely open. So that's o also an issue, and I did not get any 2-drop yet, which is pretty annoying. Yeah, I don't really like how this is going, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna pick that. It's, yeah, I don't know. I think it's... <laughs> It's probably going to be a good example of, of what you should not do in a draft. Kind of went into a lot of different directions, so... 
Um, yeah, here it's a pretty easy enter, I think. It's just the best card of the pack uh, alongside Ghoulsteed, but uh, I will not jump into uh, a fifth color. Um, and I don't really know, I don't really know what, I, what I will end up with and what I'm trying to do here, which is not the best. That's a very late beating. Guess I'm just gonna take the mage, which is a solid two drop in red. Yeah, I think at this point I cannot afford to do too many more crazy things. Uh, yeah. All right, Quill Wolf is great uh, card to get that late. Very solid two drop in green, uh, and there's still a bunch of good thing in this pack. Hopefully we will wheel one of the three good green cards that were in the pack I opened. Uh, but it is the pack I opened and there's only crap left. <laughs> Alright, Dual Shot is main deckable I think in this stat. Pretty solid card. Killer is kinda decent. Not the best but playable which I might lack in the end. So at this point we are Naya. Kinda green red beat down. Lacking two drop, splashing for a Sigarda. That's not bad. I mean, the deck looks pretty solid. The only issue is that I'm really lacking playables. And I have six creatures so far, which makes up for very weak mysteries, so. All right, Epitaph Golem is playable. And I might need that in the end. Uh, I could splash for some white creatures, but it's probably not the best thing to do. So what I'm hoping to get next pack is just, well, a bit of fixing could be nice for the Sigarda, but other than that, what I really need, I think, is um, some some creatures, some two drop creatures, three drop creatures, uh, yeah, more than anything else. But yeah, I mean, I think we are we do have some sort of direction to go in now, which was not really the case at the end of pack one. Uh, I could play a four color deck, I don't think it's a good idea to do so. Uh, I could... To really play a Naya deck with as much white as red and other color, at least more white, I would need much more fixing here. I, I can afford to splash Sigarda probably, but not much more currently. A card that'd be great would be the... Um, that's a very late Ghoul Steed, that card is very solid in the right deck, so... Yeah, I don't really know what it's doing there, but whatever. Uh, a card that'd be great would be the the Scarecrow, the 1-4 one, one uh, that costs 3 and you can fetch 2 lands. First, it's gonna fix my mana, and second, it's pretty solid with Mysteries. Um, so yeah, it, it'd be nice to add that to the deck. Alright, uh, I think the best card for me here is Solitary Enter. Uh, I need 2-drop, but there's no 2-drop, and I think this is better than Vessel, uh, Duelist, or any other thing, so... Yeah, it's probably one of the best cards of the pack. I mean, Parish Blade, pretty good if you can enable it. I think Hunter is the best card, unless you are, like, really, really deep into Delirium, then Vessel might be slightly better. Duelist is strong, but I think worse than Hunter most of the time. And if I pick up enough Wolf and Werewolf, I could also use cards like Moonlight Hunt and maybe a Howl Pack Resurgence, so there is that too. Graph Mall is pretty great. Uh, solid 3-drop, works very, very well with Mysteries. If you can set up those two cards, you are very unlikely to lose. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. Alright, nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick Geist Blast, which is a fine burn spell. There's a Byway Courier too, I think it's definitely b between these two. I need some 2-drop, but again, there's no 2-drop here. Um, courier is better regarding Mysteries and Graph Mole. Gas Geist Blast is more powerful in general. Um, it's pretty solid with Lightning Axe, by the way, and Dual Shot too. Uh, because, you know, dealing a uh, 2 2 2 creature is much better than 1 2 2 creature, obviously. You can also use that with Uncage Fury. If you have enough mana, I guess, Dance and Devil's Playground. And I do have a, you know, an easy blue land that I can put in my deck. So even though I have Mysteries and I do like Courier a lot, I think it might be just a, a better option. 
Uh, ooh, Alter Ego is a sweet one. So I guess I'm gonna splash for two color, which is probably not really what, I, what you want to do, but I think I still like that more than Scavenger, which is not really enabled, or Vessel, which is fine but not so exciting. Alright, so that's gonna be a pretty weird and probably pretty bad deck. We got a nice two drop here, which is great. Um, so that's sweet. But this deck is looking, well, we are gonna say interesting, <laughs> but it's probably yeah, it, it it's probably not the best. All right, landscape is fixing, which I definitely need. Uh, well, I guess I could also go with more blue. Yeah, that that deck is going all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not something you should do. Wolf look fine. I do have some other wolf and werewolf, so I mean, I'd, I'd rather have a two drop, but it's not bad. Um, I might need the scavenger as an early creature, but it's never going to be enabled. I think I'm just going to pick register ashes, which is not so exciting, but fine. All right, so we are green, red, splashing for blue and white. I do have a landscape and <laughs> two dual land, but it seems a bit uh, a bit light uh, regarding uh, my splash. So yeah, I guess I could add the sleep paralysis at this point. Ooh, vessel is not bad. It can also help you, uh, you know, fix your mana base to some extent. So definitely glad to add that to the deck. Aim high is fine trick, but I'm playing. S I'm not playing enough creature that I want that. I think, but I probably like that more than Rush of Adrenaline, though. I am more. I'm not aggressive enough that Rush is better than Aim High. I think. Uh, yeah. Uncaged Fury and Aim High. Aim High doesn't look so great in this deck. I just don't have enough creature to make those cards good. Uh, Arsonist, I think, will replace Epitaph Golem pretty well. Ooh, we got another Vessel, sweet. Fury is great and you can easily steal game with that card, but like my deck is not looking like a, an Uncaged Fury deck at all. So I think I'm just gonna cut it and play this 23. It's pretty weird, <laughs> but it might be good enough. I mean, the power level is pretty high, so as long as I can cast my spell, I should be in a decent spot. But casting my spell could be slightly difficult given the four colors. Uh, pretty nice. <laughs> Playing a bunch of stupid uh, rares and mythic, I guess. Uh, Alright, well, at least it's original. <laughs> it's not the deck that you see each week uh, <laughs> in, the locals, in your local store draft or on MTGO for, for that matter. Um, I need slightly more green than red, but I don't think I can I can afford to... No, not really, because I have double red here too. So basically this is 5... 12 red... 12, 12 red mana and... Uh, 11 uh, green, so it's pretty even. Especially since Back Guardian... I want to cast that early on, so I guess uh, it makes up for maybe green being more important. Yeah, I mean, that mana base is, is perfect. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's uh, Naya Bent mid-range uh, good stuff. Uh, <laughs> with four color and some uh, double colored spell. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but... Well, we have a bit of fixing to Vessel. It might work. It's definitely fun, at least. So, All right. Uh, probably not something you should do, but uh, I hope you still enjoyed the draft. If you did, uh, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I see you guys in a few minutes for round one.